All right, Aaron Flake here with Snowboarding for Newbies. We're here on a beautiful sunny morning and we're excited about going through your first lesson here. Thanks for taking the time out to take a look at this lesson and watch this course. The first thing we're going to go through is we're going to talk about how to go through your getting your C-turns done. And by this time, to be able to do that, you hopefully have had all your equipment ready to go. You've watched the lesson on how to get your equipment set up and you've either purchased something, uh, borrow Ready, it, uh, stolen ah. it perhaps, maybe not stolen, but you know, hopefully you have some equipment set up so you can go through this because what we're going to learn is getting your C-turns down and we're going to do some maneuvers to get you to that point like, like J-turns and garlands and things that will help you to be able to do these C-turns. I'm going to go through all of those things. Actually today we have some real life students that are newbie students that are going to be going through this course with you and so you'll be able to watch them and learn from what they do just as they're going through it so that you can learn from that. So I'm excited, let's get started. Hey ladies, I'm Mark, I'm 17 years old, I'm a junior in high school and I've been snowboarding twice, but I'm not very good, but I'm going to take this course and be able to hang with my friends and go down the mountain and do some sweet tricks, hopefully. So that's why I chose this course, Snowboarding for Newbies. Hi, I'm Dylan Cole. I'm 28 years old. I'm a waiter who lives here in Boise, Idaho. I've uh, been snowboarding about half a dozen times in my life and was looking for something that me and my girlfriend could do together during the winter. Don't want to sit in the apartment all day playing video games. I like that, but not all day long. I uh, was just looking for an opportunity to improve my skills, get my technique down correctly, and I think that I'm getting a good chance to learn that with these lessons. Hi, I'm Krista Williams. I'm 21. I work full-time as a litigation manager. In my part-time, I attend college and I take dance classes. Um, I've never snowboarded and I'm just looking to get into it as kind of a family-friendly sport, something that my boyfriend and I can do together. All right, so I think it's helpful for students to know what they're going to learn before they learn it so they can kind of check it off in their mind. So let me just tell you a little bit about what we're going to go through uh, here in the course. The, the, the most important three things that we're going to talk about first are safety, fun, and learning, and it's in that order. So it, it absolutely is crucial that today everything that we're going to do is safe, and I can promise you that you, you don't need to get hurt if you'll just follow these simple rules, and I don't think anyone wants to, wants to get hurt, and so it, we need to go through a few things just to let you know about safety. One under safety is that you want to follow all the rules of the mountain. The mountain has certain rules like stay in control, don't go across any barriers or things that are ropes, yellow ropes, or anything like that. Follow all the signs, obey the signs, and always stay in control, okay? Also on safety, safety is that you're going to fall in this lesson and, and, and during the course of snowboarding, but you don't have to get hurt when you fall. So I'm going to show you in just a moment about the right way to fall so that you don't get hurt, okay? Is that alright? Okay. The second thing is fun. A lot of people, if they don't have fun learning how to snowboard, in the first time that they do it, the first lesson, probably never going to come back. I've heard that from different people where their friends just kind of said, go, you know, they push them down the hill and said, there's a blue run, a black run, go for it. I don't know if you guys have ever had that experience before, but they say, you know, go ahead and you, you just try it out, we'll see you at the bottom. They don't have fun and so they never come back and try to snowboard again and they just, then they, they never snowboard. So that, that I don't want that to happen, I want you guys to have fun on your first lesson, your first experience doing this. And then the last one that we would talk about is learning. The same thing is that you need to progress and feel like you're doing good, otherwise you're probably, again, not going to come back, you're not going to want to continue this. So safety, fun, and learning is what we're going to you know, go through today. And we're going to do all these different maneuvers that I'm going to go through to get you to the point of being able to make a C turn, to go from your toe to your heels very nicely, and then even eventually from your toes to heels so you make a good S turn. That sound good? Okay. All right, so we're going to talk about stance real quick, and hopefully because of the previous lesson, you'll have learned when you're picking your gear what stance you are or how to, how to figure out your stance. 
but if you're right foot forward, that means if you're excuse me, if you're regular, that means you're left foot forward. And if you're right foot forward, that means you're goofy. So we're going to talk about some ways that people maybe try to figure out whether they're left or right. But like I say, you should have seen this in the video before. We're going to demonstrate here with Krista. What your friends probably do is, can you turn around for me for a second, Krista? Some of your friends might say, hey, this is the best way to figure out whether you're left or right foot forward. If I just push her and see which foot she's going to go to, that determines whether that should be her front foot, the one she steps with. A, a little bit better way, and some people say that's a good way, but definitely a better way, I believe, is that it's a more natural thing in snowboarding. You're going you're gonna to want to be most centered and most uh, balanced, and it's your natural instinct that if you run up to a puddle or some, uh, uh, of ice or something to slide on, that you would get in the correct stance that would be most powerful and centered for you. So the better way is to actually have someone take a few steps and then just slide on the, on the snow and see which foot would be the front foot forward. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and then I'm going to have Krista do that. So if I run up here and slide, I'm going to have you do that Krista and let me see which one goes forward. Take a few steps and then run up and slide. So great, so we would, we would choose her right foot forward in that situation. So that is generally a better way and you can do it two or three times to make sure that they feel it's right. After snowboarding for two or three runs or four runs or after uh, a, a while of snowboarding, if you feel like you'd like to change it up because it's more, feels like it'd be more natural another way, you're welcome to do that and change up your bindings.